Hey, Darlene here. Thanks for popping in. Welcome. If you're new, this is Darlene from Darlene's Garden and Home. If you've been watching my videos all along, you know who I am. Thanks for coming. Let's get right into it. This is my outdoor garden. It's a mess. Nothing got cleaned up last year. So that needs to be done at some point. This is the front part. There's my yard always still. It needs to be trimmed down. Well, today's the day. Yeah. <clears throat> I had to get the cat out of the box of dirt. She didn't do any damage in there. Just spilled some. Anyway, what I'm doing here is <clears throat> I'm creating drainage holes in the bottoms of these cups. These are just plastic cups and you can see drainage hole. Some of them are that size, some of them are smaller. I don't think I have anything in bigger. But then I'm filling the cup up with dirt and I'm going to use the two cup method that several other YouTubers have told about. So it's you take one cup that has drainage holes and one that doesn't and put them together. And in a little bit, I'm going to put something down on the bottom so there's a little bit of a space in between the two. Then you just water the bottom one. And today, as you, you'll see in a little bit, I'm going to water the bottom and the top. <clears throat> so it feels good to be getting started on this. I've got more I want to do, but this will get me going. And as you can see, my supervisor is there helping me holes in the bottom, one on each side of the cup, and then fill it with dirt. And I probably should have been using some potting mix, but this is what I have, or start, seed starting mix, I should say. But this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. That's one thing about gardening. People will tell you you have to do, to do this and you have to do that. No, you don't have to. Use what you have. If all you have is just Seed, uh, seed starting mix, use it. If what you have is potting soil, use it. Uh, the only thing I say is do not go out in your yard and dig dirt out of the ground to use. That will be too dense and your, your um, little seedlings will not probably survive. <clears throat> so it's, as I get this soil in here, it's getting harder to get it in the cup. And I think I measured just about the right amount for these. I have five. I'm doing five cups today. This is, like I said, just to start. Well, where is my supervisor going? I don't know. She's going to go off and supervise something else. Okay. So, I'm going to take the dirt out of there in the bottom of the of the, the bottom cup I'm just gonna put a few little rocks in there and yeah see how that puts it up just a little ways that's good exactly what I wanted and then I'm going to put some water in the bottom here today just a little bit more than I probably will from time to time just because this dirt the soil was just a tad bit dry. I had maybe a little bit of moisture in it, but certainly not much. It's mostly dry. I'm watering the top, too. And right now, that's going to be too much in the top, but in an hour or so, that will all have soaked down, and what's in the bottom will have soaked up, and it will be just right. See, I'm missing it. I'll set this one aside for the moment and get another cup. I see I forgot to put the second cup on this under this one. <laughs> but we'll move on to the next one here. <clears throat> These are just little white decorative rocks. I think anything, it could be a, t a twig or I don't know, you could put anything down there. Some people just use a a rubber band around the, the top of the so that the, uh, the inner cup won't go down any further. Okay, and I will. 
we'll get another cup here for for this one that <laughs> that I neglected to get the second cup. There we go. The rest of my little rocks. So I have five of them in there. And I'm getting these all watered. Watered in. Like I said, probably a little more water than, than normal just to get started here. And you can tell that it needs, the soil was dry because when I put water in the top, it just kind of wants to sit there. But it will soak in. Trust me, it will. Okay, so what am I going to plant? I'm going to plant tomatoes and peppers is what I'm going to start with. And my plan this year is to plant mostly herbs and flowers, but I do want tomatoes and peppers. And I don't always have very good luck with peppers, but I try every year. Also, I want to purchase some carthenogenic, is that the right word? Cucumbers, the ones that do not need to be, to have bees to to make cucumbers. <laughs> okay, so there wasn't much in that package. The yellow, I think I just showed you yellow banana. Yellow tomato. <laughs> yellow tomato. A little, it's a little tomato. And that package is empty, so I'm going to use that label. The others I'm going to have to look back at this video to remember what's in because I don't have any labels to put in there. Uh, these still have some seeds in. This is a um, organic large red cherry tomato. So this will be a small tomato also. And what I usually do, I sow my tomatoes fairly thickly. And that way when they come up, I'll have more, more than one or two plants. And this year, if I get more plants than I actually need, I'll, I don't know, I guess I do what to do with the extras, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And no guarantees even that these all will germinate because I've had these seeds for several years, but they should. This one, I believe, is a, yeah, Bonnie Best. That, that one's empty too, I believe. So I've got the three tomatoes, the yellow, the little yellow banana tomatoes, the red cherry tomatoes, and the Bonnie Best. Now I'm doing a, a yellow wonder sweet pepper. This is like a bell pepper. And finally, a banana sweet pepper. That's why I kept trying to say banana when I was telling you about the tomato. The tomatoes were yellow and the peppers are yellow. 
Okay, so there's my five containers all ready to go. Just going to push the seeds down in there. And usually I add, and I brought it out here, but I didn't end up putting it on there. Some, and I'll probably do it later, some perlite, or you could use perlite, or um, what's the other one that's like perlite or on the top. Sometimes I put cinnamon on the top, too. It just helps to retain the moisture and helps to keep the little gnats from enjoying themselves. And I put the cover over this. It's not tight, so I don't know how good it will be at keeping the moisture in, but it should help a little bit. And for right now, I'm just going to stick these over here by the window. They will eventually go back in my grow room with under the grow lights, but not today. We'll just set them there and keep an eye on them where I can see them. It should take probably just, well, for the... The tomatoes will come up first. Peppers take a little longer. But it feels really good. Really, really good. I've been wanting to do this for days, even weeks. But actually, my timing is probably just about right. Today is the middle of March. It's actually the 16th of March. And so, two, eight, eight weeks out will be the middle of May which is just about right because that's about when our last our last frost date is, is anywhere from the first part of May to the middle of May. It's safest waiting until the middle of May to put things out. So my, in years past, I started them too early, like in February. <laughs> but I decided this year I, I'm going to wait so they don't get all leggy on me where I have to repot them. We'll see how it goes. It's just, like I said, really good to get this started. Finally. I will, in spite of everything, have a small garden this summer. I'm glad you came and joined me today. You see me the way I am. I needed to comb my hair. I need to comb my hair, don't I? <laughs> well, you see me. What you see is what you get. Thank you for being here. You don't know how much I appreciate you. All of you. And the best way you can help me out is to share my videos. Have other people tell other people about my channel so that they will subscribe to me. I keep getting emails from people saying, oh, you need SEO to make your channel grow. Maybe so. But I'm just an old retired lady working on a fixed income. I'm not hurting for money, but I'm not rolling it in either. <laughs> we watch our pennies. We do. We have to. And if I ever get enough subscribers to earn money from doing this, that would be wonderful. But I'm not going to count on it. I do this for fun. I do it to document what I'm doing. And I do it so that my grandson can watch me because he likes to watch my videos. And I do it because of you guys. I love all of you. I appreciate you all. And as I sign out, I want to make sure that you know that I am praying God's love and blessings upon you, upon every ounce of your being. Spread his love and care and joy. Until next time, this is Darlene from Darlene's Garden and Home, signing out.